Hello everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Creative Sarah Live. And uh, you came to the right place if you would like some DIY ideas. So let me get it so where I can see all of the comments. Hi, Margaret Miller. Welcome everybody. Happy Wednesday. So today I'm going to show you how to create the interchangeable um, tiered tray. And it probably, I just gotta pour some water. I briefly alluded to this last week and I kind of showed you guys um, how to do this. So I'm gonna show you, uh, we're gonna like change the colors of our tier tray. So here are our two tier trays. And what I wanna do is I wanna make this a different color. Now, you could choose from any any of our colors. I was kind of thinking about going for a, like kind of a super dark brown color or maybe um, like to make it look like it's stained but a little distressed. And so, ooh, that's a brand new one. So I'm gonna grab, I may have already done, I'm gonna, I've got my bark here. And if I can add, what I'm gonna do is make a dark brown. So I'm gonna add some black into this and really stir up the color. I'm gonna do add a little bit of water. So that was one full spray. And we're just gonna see the color that we get. I may need more. Um, I probably will have to open up that brand new bark. So I'm making kind of a cocoa color, like a dark cocoa. Hi, Tammy, woohoo, hi, Barbara. Thank you, hi, Carol, hi, Mary. We are, um, so today is my dad's birthday. So we are gonna take him out after Easton's basketball game tonight. Um, so we're just, I was kind of like, well, I got to get ready for the day. I have a Zoom webinar, I have my live, and then we're going to go out to dinner. So I had to be all, all the things. So I'm going to go ahead and open this brand new bark. Look at that creamy, dreamy bark madness. All right, and I'm going to add this in there. There we go. So as we add that in there, we should have a little bit more. I should have plenty. So I'm going to paint this and then I'm going to do a little bit of distressing on there. Kind of a nice dark brown color. I'm going to add a little bit more of our bark. It's actually, this color looks a little bit lighter than what I would normally say our bark is. But that's our bark. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna get in here with our paintbrush now. I'm actually gonna be painting everything. I'm just gonna throw that into my, I don't think. It's a nice cocoa, dark cocoa color. And so I'm gonna grab our, our paintbrushes are awesome. They have a one inch um, that I could use, but it will actually be a little quicker if I find that a bigger, if I do a bigger paintbrush. So let me 
grab one. I don't want it too big, but this might work for what I want. I'm gonna go ahead and spray, actually, I could spray it, I could sand it. This is a one and a half inch versus the one inch, but it'll just go a little bit quicker for us. All right, I don't want any like water bubbles. Okay, and then go in here and we're just gonna, we're painting the whole thing. Even though I'm gonna be covering this part up, you may want, you may want to have the color everywhere. And so as I add this, ooh, we're just gonna cover all of it with this color. So again, it is a mixture of bark and black. So I love making my own colors to suit my needs. And I also know that there's a little bit of you're not seeing like true color because of the lights. So I will do my best to get that, you get you guys to see that true color. Hi Linda K, happy Wednesday. All right. That's good. Now, we want to make sure the inside is covered. I should be wearing gloves. My brand new manicure. Ooh, I hear the train running. There's a train track not too far from our house, but you can always kind of hear that. All right, so we got that. I am gonna grab really quick some gloves so that I can work faster and not have to worry about washing my hands so much. I have these old gloves that I bought from 2020 when like you couldn't really get gloves like everybody was like we need gloves and masks and all the things and uh, the regular gloves were out of stock all right so now I can hold this and not worry all right I'm just gonna get this I love the rustic look that this is giving with this brush Very cool. And I'm just gonna go around and around. And we'll do the sides too. And the, 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 I guess we can do the feet in the bottom. The feet will show, so you probably wanna do that. I'm gonna give it a little time to dry as I start on the other one and then when this is dry I don't know if I can if I lift it up if you guys can see like a better image of it I'm gonna leave that there and we'll start on this other one we're gonna kind of do the same thing if I pick up a bunch there we go just getting in there, getting all the sides done. It's gonna look really cool, like a very old rustic um, wooden tray. And anything that is white shows as like, like distressed. So I think that's really cool. 
now we're gonna go ahead and do the top. The small one is much quicker. And this is just our white tear tray. Imagine doing this with like a beautiful red color for the holiday season. Um, it could be red for Christmas and it can be red for Valentine's Day. I'm making this so that it is um, just kind of a neutral everyday look. Not everything in my decor is white, but when we have the white, um, it's really cool to be able to change it out. So everything comes in that white, which is nice as is, but you can, um, you can change it up. So I love it. Oh, ah, oh, darn it, that's no fun, Barbara. It's convenient, but it's not fun. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca Brown, how are you today? Happy Wednesday. So I'm just gonna quickly dry this. I love all my brush strokes on here because it looks distressed. And then we can go ahead and use our sanding block and do a little bit more distressing in places where we think we might need it. Oh, it looks so good. My corners in there need a little bit more. I didn't wax at all. No, because we're painting, so we don't need to wax. Waxing is only, only for using a sticky transfer. It's the only time you're going to wax. Okay, because the, the waxing is to protect your transfer at all costs. It does give a little seal, and you can seal these if you want. You can use any paint that you have at home. Um, you could use a chalked paint or any acrylic paint, anything that you really want um, that you have, crafting paint. Okay, now, let's trade back. This time I'm gonna paint around the circle. So again, if you're just tuning in, I am, let me see, I am taking our white tear tray and I'm transforming it. I created a nice color with our bark chalk paste and our black. And I mixed the two together to create this nice cocoa color, this dark kind of a walnutty color. And I'm using it just to paint the white tear tray. Oh boy. There we go. There we go. La da dee da. Okay. finish this last part off without getting too many fingerprints on that. Oh, this looks so good, you guys. I love... All right, so now we're going to flip it over. And I'm going to paint the feet. Um, I would paint everything 
um, or just the feet. It's completely up to you. It, sh it won't take much more time to do everything. But, oh yeah, I got a little taste there on my glove. But it will, it will get seen. These feet will be seen, so you probably want them to be our brown color. Just kind of go over it. If you want to cheat and not do the whole bottom and just do the feet, you can do that too. But the outside of these feet will be, depending on where you put this, so if you're putting it up on a mantle or something high, people are going to see. If you have it on a counter or on a low um, setting table, it, it may not be. But let's just go ahead and finish it anyway. I'm gonna get in here with my paintbrush and really move that paint around with the water. And then here we go. Get to finishing. And then I'll set this one aside so that we can finish that little one. Okay. You guys have any Christmassy plans coming up um, this weekend? Any last weekend before Christmas fun stuff? Seeing the lights or doing anything? I don't know. We have not gotten to do much of anything fun family time Christmassy stuff yet. Well, you know, some of us have, some of us haven't. Ryan did go to the parade last weekend. All right, I'm gonna set that one aside. And I'm gonna finish this up. We'll get this edge done. doesn't take too, too long. And when you are done, it is going to be so pretty. Okay. And here we go. I see a little bit that I didn't get to before. Okay, that looks good. Now, people likely will see the bottom of this because this is your top tier. So they're gonna see the color. Um, they'll notice if it's white. Okay, and then how do you want your grain? Like there's no grain on the bottom of this, but how you want, you can put your brush strokes. I particularly like to see my brush strokes on something that is rustic. I do not, you know, I don't like to see that all the time, but when I'm making something rustic, I think it's it adds to it. So that looks perfect for me. All right, I think we're pretty good with that paint, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these and just start to dry it all. And then I'll show you how everything works. That's the pizza parlor and how to pet. Oh, cool. That's fun. You're welcome, Michelle. Um, I have, as default, the closed caption on, but sometimes I don't think it always works. Uh, Laura, great question. I am just spraying a little bit of water onto the wooden surface. Another thing you could do is if you wanted to lightly sand before painting, you could do that too. Um, the water helps spread. So I'm using 
our chalk paste, which is a kind of a washable, um, uh, washable chalk, basically, in a paste form, like kind of a liquid form. And it helps spread the paste, adding a little bit of water on your surface. Okay, now, I'm gonna make sure this is dry before I touch it. Hi, T. Marie, good afternoon. The interchangeable is so smart. I actually would love if I came up with that idea, but I saw someone else doing it and sharing and um, I was like, heck yeah, let's do it. Um, I have to think of who, who did it, who did it? Another designer came up with the insert, and I'm like, why didn't I think of that? Like, that is so my idea. She posted it in our designer group and said, feel free to share. And so, man alive. I, I, I love, love that idea. So, I'm still gonna get my, I am still gonna get my hands all dirty. I just hope y'all know that. We're gonna get this. And when I stage this, I'll have better lighting and it'll look, you'll see what it's gonna look like. I'm just gonna show the whole tier tray and how things will look. Let me go ahead and flip it over. Make sure all of this is dry. We're getting there. It looks so good, you guys. I know the pictures do not do it justice, this video. I know you're not seeing what I'm seeing. I know, because this looks so awesome. And I'm looking at my camera my image and I'm like it looks so shiny and it's not shiny at all it's very matte okay now um let's see if I can lift this up and you guys can see it's not shiny but it is in those in the images all right so what you can do if you like a lot of you know um distressing you can really lightly just go over this with your sanding block and do a little bit of distressing on there doesn't have to be a lot just a little could, um, if you want to leave it like this, we're going to assemble um, that in a minute. But these two, now here are the interchangeables. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this down real quick. The interchangeable pieces are from the uh, shop. And actually, let me see. That's not what I want. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the um, pin post. I'm gonna go ahead and pin a post for you. Oh, as soon as I can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna wash this up real quick.
Um, usually I use my board eraser when I have the dried chalk paste, but that's, that's pretty good. I'll get the rest in a minute. Wash my hands a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm gonna grab these links and then I'll go ahead and pop them into the comments so you guys can see them. They're also in the description of the video. So if you're watching right, if you're watching during the live, you can't always see the description, even though I put it out there. You may need, um, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Um, I am going to paint this. You could paint it to match if you wanted, but I want to paint it in kind of a lighter, I'm going to use my dune. Oh, where's my trash can? My trash can got moved, so now I'm like all sorts of, there we go. Okay, I'm going to, let's see if I can put this in a color tray. Why, yes, I can. of like a kind of like a grayy color it's like a beigey um color and i'm gonna mix a little bit with water so that's a little off white when i get where i'm i'm like looking all over for this paintbrush and i couldn't find it but i found it okay so this is going to be a little bit I guess I could use a big brush too for this. Really? This unfinished wood, when you guys are painting it, it soaks, like really soaks up a lot. And so you want to do that water first. And I did, but maybe not quite enough. So as you're painting, you may very well see it soak in, which is fine for me. That's what I like. And you kind of see that wood grain underneath. what I'm doing. And if you don't have enough water, add some more. There we go. And you're gonna finish both sides of these inserts because the whole point is that it's interchangeable with our tear tray pattern transfers. We have three of them. The first one is our autumn, the second one is our Christmas, and the third one is our circle of love, and that one is geared toward Valentine's Day. Okay, so you can, again, my lights are awful but you're gonna be able to see this. Not too, not too long. I'm gonna get some more. Oh my gosh. Can you tell me that I'm an idiot without telling me that I'm an idiot? Didn't even look. 
at the pace that I got, but I'm like, wow, this is so not our dune. I really, um, this really looks grayish. Wow, such a grayish color. Guess what color it is? Flipping grayish. It's grayish. It's grayish. Because my dune is sitting right here, which is what I wanted to use. I'm gonna, there's no sense in, I'm gonna mix it. I'm just gonna, just gonna keep going, but I'm gonna add our dune. See how different that color is? I don't know, I, my brain, I honestly was like, I guess I'm, I'm losing it, you guys. I'm losing it. I don't know. I'm just going to mix it. On this side, it'll just be a mix. But on the other side, it'll be more of the dune. Sounds good to you? I hope so. I didn't want it stark white. You could totally paint it white. It would look adorable. <sighs> ah, you guys. I'm nutsy cuckoo. Hi, Sherry Prince. Okay, now you'll see what it's going to look like. There we go. So we just want like this off-white wash and not grayish. We want the off-white. I do. I didn't want stark white, but it, it would look good. Stark white would look great. Especially when, or you could do one side off-white. You could flip it over and do the other side your um, stark white, off-white, whatever. You could do a mixture. And be because you're um, sanding, if you're sanding it to distress it, that white will pop out, so you could do stark white on your wood inserts, and it would look really cool. Very, very cool. But I am here to go in and out of the box. Sometimes I do things that are inside the box, and sometimes I do things that are outside the box, and that is just me. I'm gonna just stay for a second. I need to grab some paper towel. I got some there we go. Then you're gonna chalk on this, on the bases, and you will wax. You're gonna wax right over this so that you can chalk. And this is good. I'm gonna flip that one. Making sure this is all dry. Hey, 
hang that back up. And we'll get to finishing this. I guess I don't need to do that yet. And the outer edge of these isn't going to show at all. So you don't have to um, be super diligent about painting the outer edge. Um, and when I mean the outer edge, I mean like the outer edge, not, not this part. This part you're going to want to paint. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, now Okay. Beautiful. Let's get this dried. I'm gonna wash this off real quick in my water. Might be time for me to get some new paint brushes. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. this stuff up. There we go. Now, I'm not going to make them. We don't sell grays anymore, which is why I wouldn't use it. But, okay, let's get these dry. And we're going to assemble this. If you saw last week, we did, I did the Club Couture two ways on a live. So cute. It's What a Wonderful World. And you can only get it by becoming a club member. Once you are a club member, you are VIP. And you're going to have some really awesome perks to being um, a member. So you get awesome flat rate shipping prices lower than what other customers get. You also get special promotions every month. Um, you get welcome gifts from me as well as... Some really cool perks that are inside of my group. If you haven't jumped into my group or you're just tuning in for the first time, go ahead and comment VIP right in the comments. I'll send you a welcome message with a link to join in my VIP DIY and crafting group. We'll give you some, uh, we'll get more ideas, inspiration, and insider information all inside that group for you. 
All right, as this is drying, we'll be able to start assembling. I'm gonna show you how to assemble this because you have to do it all at once. Okay. Make sure none of this is like wet. It's gonna get on anything. I can clean it up after my live. All right. And then I'm just gonna wipe off the edges here because there are some globs because that's what happens when I paint. I get globs. Okay. sure there are no globs here. All right, good deal. Now, assembling. Guys, this is super easy. I'm going to take the pieces from your kit, and it does show you. It has instructions, so you can follow along. It's very simple. On the bottom, of your bottom piece. So this is gonna go on the bottom. It has the bolt here, whatever that is. You're gonna unscrew it. And there are two plastic washers. One plastic washer will go here. The other one will go on the bottom. I'm actually going to place this Hold on, I have some globs that I didn't get. They're all on the inside. Okay, now, I'm gonna place this in here. Actually, this is going to go down. So your plastic insert, just to be clear, your plastic washer is going to go on there, then this, then we are going to put the other plastic washer, and then our bolt is going to go on. and you just screw it in. Hold on, there we go. That kind of works a little easier if you screw, if you hold the bolt and then screw that on, okay. Good deal. Now, this is gonna set on top of there. You're gonna take your insert and place it in there. This has the bolt on that side, and you're going to screw that in. And hold, hold on. Hold steady. I just saw that there was some. I need to wipe off some of this chalk paste. So you hold the bottom. There we go. And Okay, there is a little bit of chalk paste on this edge. And this, you guys, is how it looks. Isn't that cool? So if I, let me see, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna carefully move my decor around. to take a close up look at these two things. I think we can do it this way. So this was my original tear tray that is all white. Okay. And this is my new one that I just made. So I can easily, um, so I didn't chalk on these for you, but you would chalk on them before you actually put it together. So the reason why I didn't chalk on them before I'm showing you the assembly, and that's because um, I no longer have these transfers. Um, I'm waiting for my new one to come in the mail because I had to give it to somebody else. So, and my Christmas one got sold as well. So, I'm throwing this stuff up there. I'm, sh I'm moving it over. So we can put all our things. Got my little items here. And I'll do the same staging that I kind of did before. This is one of my favorites. I love that mini cutting board. And then, and so it gives you a, a different look to have the darker tear tray versus the lighter tear tray. And you've got that um, um, surface that you can change with those transfers. Um, and I wish I could show you, but this is my original one that I did with the autumn, and these are the transfers on there, and I can't change that out. I can wash it off um, and maybe sand it down a little bit to change it if I wanted to, but I didn't have the option of the inserts when I switched over to Christmas, so I left it as is. Now I have two. Now I have the white one, and I can make inserts for this and reuse it, and now I have the dark one and I have inserts and you can exchange, do whatever, go back and forth. So simple. The links for everything are right in the pinned comment and in the description. You can grab the tear tray and the tear tray essentials, which you're gonna get a book stack. They all come white and neutral and you can chalk them up, paint them up, do whatever. I have, you have the, the tear tray book stack the mini board and base, the rolling pin, the mini cutting board. Um, I know there's more. There's a mini box frame that I don't have right here. I know there's more stuff in there. Um, plus the artist toolkit and um, the color trays are in there in that cart link. And then you can get those inserts in that next link that's right below it. That's all we got. Hi, Lisa Jones. Oh, woohoo! Awesome. Uh, if you want to jump into my uh, free group and you're brand new, you can comment VIP. I will um, respond with a quick welcome message and a link to join that group. Um, thank you, Tammy. Thank you, everybody. Did I miss any comments? Awesome. Okay. All right. Good deal. All right, you guys have an amazing rest of your Wednesday. Your brand new Bev comment with the word V I P just type V I P Bev and I will hit you up with a welcome message and a link to get into that group. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. I'll be back tomorrow night, 8 PM Eastern time. Okay. Bye everybody.